Hey there, Tyler here at PartsForScooters.com. Today we're going to be discussing torque drivers. These little guys are located inside your clutch, and what they do is they control how fast the clutch opens and closes. First off, let's break into this clutch to show you what the stock torque driver looks like in comparison to what an aftermarket torque driver can look like. I've already gone ahead and removed the clutch pulley and the contra spring from this rear clutch to make the job a little easier. What we need to do is remove this spring base from the torque driver. When these things are put on from the factory, they're kind of press fit. There's two O-rings underneath of it to seal in any grease that's underneath. So sometimes you can grab this with your hands, twist and pull, and it'll come off. 90% of the time that's not going to happen. I can tell you that right now. So I'm going to show you a little trick using a flathead screwdriver to get this little baby off. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we're just going to pry it, but no, 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 no. You never want to just pry because you want this to come off as straight as possible. So what you want to do is take a nice thin flathead, get it under the lip, and then twist. Just a little. Just add some pressure. Then work your way around about a third of the way around and do the same thing. Put it in and twist. You can see it's starting to pry up up here. Keep going. Not a whole lot of pressure or force. You want constant pressure. So I'm going to keep going until the screwdriver pushes it up and I can feel it kind of break free. And then with your hands, go ahead and pull this right off. Now remember, there's an O-ring underneath that does make this tight. Constant pressure. Maybe a little wiggling. Comes off. Now beware, there's a lot of grease in there. Even on a used, you know, if you got a clutch with a lot of miles, you're still going to have some grease up in there. Keep that in mind. Set the spring base off to the side because you will be reusing this later. So take a look at this stock torque driver and the angle of the groove. It starts, it moves over, and then drops down. So with the clutch being at idle, you give it gas, this will kind of create tension and not allow the clutch to open very fast until you start to get up to speed and then it'll drop in. This is almost like an overdrive, if you will. Now, on our aftermarket one, you get the same idea, but this is a true overdrive. You get a nice, constant angle, and then it drops. So basically, you'll hit the gas, take off all nice and smooth, and then you'll drop into an overdrive like a cruise cruising gear, when the other angle is straight all the way to the end. This gives you the same basic power transfer from idle all the way to top speed. Now the question is how to swap them out. There's three little pins inside your torque driver that fit in the, into those grooves. So you're going to want to grab yourself some needle nose pliers. And I like to go to about midsection. See all that grease in there. Don't worry about that. We're going to be re-greasing this when we're done. But if you grab some needle nose, you'll see that's your pin. There's three of these. Go ahead and remove each pin. And then voila, they come apart. This is your rear pulley, main half with the bearings inside. Save that, that's what you're reusing. This is the stock pulley, which is a little better to see the angle now. This is what we're gonna be discarding. This one we'll be installing. Okay, first, I want you to notice there's a larger hole and a smaller hole. We're gonna be aiming for this larger hole, okay? So very simple, you can take this new torque driver and just simply slide it down and over. That was that rubber seal up here grabbing pretty tight. 
And now since I'm going for the straight groove, I'm just going to simply kind of line this up with that groove. And then with your fingers, you can press these pins into those holes. Once you get the first one in, it's actually easier to get the other three. So then it's kind of lined up. Now, pin there, I got my pin there, I got my pin there, and I'm getting grease everywhere. Once you have all three pins inserted, you're going to want to fill these grooves with grease. If you look in this one, I put a good little dollop of grease into that groove. You're going to want to do that just on the three grooves where the pins are. After you've greased it, you're going to want to take the O-rings that come with. And there's a bigger O-ring and a smaller O-ring. The bigger one will go down and over and then kind of stretch it around the base. This is what seals in the grease around the base. It'll click back in when I get the uh, spring base down on there. And you do want it a tight seal like this so it'll actually seal the grease. The smaller one will fit into the little tiny ring groove at the top. Then what we're going to do is take our spring base and slide it right down over everything again. And that's it. This torque driver is installed, ready to go back onto the scooter to feel that new power band. If you like this video for any reason, be sure to click that thumbs up, give us a subscribe. We're going to have more videos in the future on you know product reviews, product how-tos, demonstrations, you name it. Uh, if you have any ideas for us, feel free to mention them in the comments below. Until then, scoot scoot.